Tariffs and Trade The Welfare Effects To show the effects of a tariff, we shall take the example of imports of aluminium into the European Union. With no trade, the market equilibrium price is P1. Economic welfare is the area V, K, and A. This is composed of consumer and producer's surplus. If the market is open to free trade, world price is determined in the world market and will be lower than the price in any given territory. This lowers the EU price of aluminium to P2. The new equilibrium quantity is at QM. Demand extends from A to B. Consumer surplus increases to K, B, and P2. However, EU producers suffer as their producer surplus falls from V, P1, and A to V, P2, and C. Pressure might be put on the government to impose a tariff to protect domestic producers. The effect is to push up the world supply curve by the amount of the tariff. Demand now contracts from B to E. Domestic supply now extends from C to F. While consumer surplus falls, producers' surplus increases. The net effect is a loss of consumer surplus of the area F, E, B, and C. However, the EU can gain tariff revenue of the area F, E, X, and Z. This is the volume of imports. Z to X, times the tariff per unit, which is, F to Z, and E, to X. However, this is not enough to compensate for the loss of consumer surplus, and the net welfare loss is the sum of the triangles, C, F, and Z, plus E, B, and X.